Visual Studio 2008 and the .NET Framework 3.5 support a new database programming paradigm known as Occasionally Connected Applications. In an Occasionally Connected Application, you can cache a database as a local SQL Server Compact 3.5 database rather than hit a remote database all the time. This can vastly improve your performance and the scalability of client applications. We'll start by creating a new C Sharp WinForms application, like so. And we're going to add a new item in the Add New Item dialog. We're going to add a local database cache item. This will add a .sync file to the project, which we can use to configure our synchronization. First, we'll select the database that we want to connect to. In this case, I'm going to choose Northwind. This is on my machine. If you don't have Northwind installed on your machine, you can download it from msdn.microsoft.com. Once we've selected that, we're going to click the Add button to add what tables we're interested in in caching. And I'm going to add the Categories table. And then we can configure it with these drop-downs here. I'm going to choose the defaults, which gives me a pretty good experience. I'm going to click OK. That'll take me back to the Configure Data Synchronization dialog. I'm done there, so I'll dismiss that. That will synchronize the local database cache right now. And we'll bring the Data Source Configuration Wizard up, which allows me to select which tables I'm interested in having a data set for in my project. I want, of course, the Categories table that I selected, so I'll select that and click Finish. That generates the data set in my project. Now I've got all the caching and everything set up, so I need to do something to actually display this so I can tell that everything's working. So let's go to the data sources window and drag the categories table that I added to my data source. Drag that onto the form and that'll create the uh, data grid view. Size that so I can see everything. There we go. And now let's also create a button because we need to actually be able to synchronize this. In a real world application you might not synchronize in response to a direct user action. You might do it at a timed interval or in response to something else. But for now we're going to keep things simple so that we can just verify that everything's working. There we go. There's my button. Let's name that uh, Synchronize. There we go. And let's double click it so we can get to the code. There's the code for the click event, and I've got a couple lines of code here that do the synchronization. You can look at what they do. First, they create the local data cache sync agent, which is generated from the code that I uh, created earlier. And then we create a sync stats object, which is a sync statistics object, by calling synchronize on the agent, and we fill the table adapter with that data. All right, let's go ahead and build that make sure everything builds and if we run that application there we can see what's in the categories table now to make sure that this is actually working let's go to server explorer choose categories and choose show table data which will bring up an editor editor for that data and we'll just change something there change the name of a category and by Moving away from that field, we commit it to the database. Then let's switch back to our form, click Synchronize, and you can see that it did indeed update. That's the basics of using occasionally connected applications.